Okay, folks, this time we want to focus on a ripple in time, a combinator made by Deep Links. This thing is bonkers. This is a, a very, very big combinator. <laughs> I will show you in a minute. It shuffles through different timings on replays based on that knob here and it does some crazy things to the signal. And as you see, there's a lot going on here. I will not go into the most things of here. Important is this 14 by two mixer. And let me put this on top. So you easily see what happens. If I put this down, we only get the second channel selected. If I raise this big knob, you see it switches through different states randomly. It seems randomly. And if I raise the probability, you see it changes automatically. The core of this thing is Ripley. Most of these replays got different timings. And shuffle around based on this LFO in a random matter. Sometimes it's the dry wet, sometimes it's the delay time. You get the idea. Um, we've got multiple others of replay. The thing is beneath these 14 by 2 mixer <clears throat> we got several small mixers which basically do the same if we change the simulacra So this device makes a whole lot of different sounds and you should definitely try it out if you are a sound designer. So you could play something, you could play around with the big knob or even all the other knobs in here and get cool results that <clears throat> are mostly dependent on the sound you give it into. <clears throat> and you, you could get very cool uh, sounds out of it so you could use it in your sound design um, but how is this possible that he changes randomly values um, if we go to the <clears throat> if we go to the big mixer and look there is a CV control in that says do not remove. If we follow this yellow wire here, we go into the CV1 output of Europa. So this Europa is controlling it. CV out one gets its signal from CV1 latched in, and CV1 latched goes from this spider splitter these spider splitter uh, the spider splitter comes from the LFO2 and if we open this let's move this up <laughs> this thing is too big to handle it okay do <laughs> <clears throat> i guess this thing is way too complicated to explain it to anyone uh, but it sounds Pretty cool.
Okay guys, to be clear, I gave my best to explain this thing, but it's too complex for my head. You should definitely try this out for yourself and see what you get out of it. It is a very fun tool to play with. And if you think so too, please check out DeepLink's Gumroad page where you could download or even buy his combinator patches, but I, because I think he's a great combinator maker and he should definitely get a job at Reason Studios for that. Thanks go out to Rory by DeepLink Audio for explaining me all this stuff and giving me insight and trying to explain it to me as good as you could, but <laughs> this thing is bonkers. This thing is really really bonkers. If you open it and uh, make, do an alt click on this little arrow it folds and unfolds everything and if you unfold everything this is the whole mess that's in here. So <laughs> this thing is way too big but it makes a cool sound and that's all we want. Okay guys, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and a comment down below. And please check out Rory's uh, Gumroad. I will put the link down in the, in the description <clears throat> so you could check it for yourself. Okay, guys, have a nice day. See you next time. Bye.